Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, Christian. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, Christian. Good evening. Andrea, Cristian, ¿me pueden escuchar? Hello. Hello, Carlos, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Edwin. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Great. And you, Carlos Vladimir, how are you? I'm ready, teacher. Yes, very excellent, my day. Okay, you have a great day today. And what about yesterday? Did you enjoy your holiday yesterday? Yesterday is for my, my, how do you say the answer? Uh, rest. I rest a lot. Rest. I rest yes. a lot. Yeah. I was in my house. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, I can see that you enjoyed your day yesterday. Yes, yesterday I stay home all day. Ah, that, that's great. Me too. I stayed home yesterday. Then let's see, we need that time to rest. Because we are working, working, working. Yeah, I need rest every day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay okay let's start with tonight class uh, I were going, we are going to continue talking about the present perfect the last class we were talking about the present perfect using already and yet right so tonight we're going to continue talking about the present perfect but now we are going to learn how to use the present perfect with things and for that is the topic for tonight. So let's start with this class. Hello, Cosman. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you tonight, Cosman? I'm very well, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, that's excellent. So give me a second and we're going. Start with the con. Okay, here we go. This is the topic for tonight. I'm going to share the presentation with you guys. And we're going to start with this. Present perfect with four in things. That is the topic for tonight. Welcome to the class 15. Tomorrow, we are going to finish this English course, right? So I hope that you have already completed the section number five and also the meter exam, right? Tomorrow, we are going to have a review of the final exam. But for tonight, we're going to study these four and sing. Before to start with this topic, and let's see, let's read in the objective for this class. In this session, you will learn the use of present perfect with four and sing. That is the objective for tonight class. And let's start with this review. Can you help me to say sentences? Uh, what you have already done today and what you have not done yet. 
what you have already done and what you haven't done today. So let's start with the first thing here. I have already to listen to music. What is the sentence? Yo ya he escuchado música este día. What is the sentence with present perfect? No idea. No. I have already listened to music. Okay, thank you so much. I have already listened to music. What about this one? It's a negative sentence. I haven't go swimming yet. Okay, go or gone? Gone. Excellent, thank you. So you say, I haven't gone swimming yet. Let's see the next one. That is an affirmative sentence. I'm ready to take some photos. Mm, I've already. I've already. Take or taken or took. Taken? Yes, no. I, I've already taken some photos today. And what about the next one? I'm ready. Making my bed. Okay, I've already made my bed. And the next? Ya he salido con mis amigos. Ya salí con mis amigos. I, I am ready going out with my friend. Okay, very good. And the last one. It's a negative sentence. Not wash my uniform yet. I am not wash my uniform yet. Mm, I am. We're, we are using the present perfect. I am not. Uh, I'm I not. haven't washed I haven't. my uniform okay. yet. Okay, excellent. I haven't washed my uniform yet. So let's see. Así habían pensado esta oración. No, teacher, only listen. Okay, I've already listened to music. And the next one, I haven't gone swimming yet. And the next one, I have already took some pictures. Is it correct that sentence? Is it correct? Yes? No, it should be taken. Oh, yes, yeah, it's taken. So let's do this. Just a second. You say taken is the past participle of the word take. Took is the simple, the simple past. So let's continue with it. Just a second. Okay, let's see if it is right now. So taken is the past participle. Remember that for a present perfect, we need the past participle form of the verb. Taken, thank you. I have already made my bed and I have already gone out with my friend and I haven't washed my uniform yet. Any volunteer to read these sentences? Three, the first three sentences. Any volunteer who wants to practice sure. tonight? Thank you so much, Carlos. Uh, one, two, three, teacher? Or, or one, one two, and three, please. Okay, I have already listened to music. I haven't gone swimming yet. I have already taken some pictures. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to read the last three sentences? Who wants? Who wants to participate tonight? One volunteer. Me, Christian Monge. Thank you, Christian. I have already made my bed. I have already gone out with my friend. I haven't washed my uniform yet. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carlos and Cristian. You did an excellent job in this exercise. I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. 
Then let's go with the next exercise. Let's continue practicing already in jet. But at this time, complete the sentence using have or haven't plus past participle. So let's start with the sentence. Let's see. This is the first one. Present perfect. Okay, I I'm have just... gone yes. on a roller coaster. I have gone on a roller coaster. And the second one. Okay, this sentence is for you. Ya he hecho esta actividad o no la ha hecho todavía. Sing in a karaoke bar. Ya la hizo. Then you say, I have sung in a karaoke bar. I have sung in a karaoke bar or I haven't sung in a karaoke bar yet. So let's see the third one. <laughs> Sleep under the stars. Can you say, ya he dormido bajo las estrellas? No, nunca he dormido sin techo. ¿Cuál es el past participle de sleep? What is the past participle form of sleep? Sleep. Sleep, yes. So I haven't slept under the, under the stars or I haven't slept under the stars yet. What is your sentence? What is it? Any volunteer? I have slept under the stars. Okay, excellent. I have already slept under the stars. Ya he dormido bajo las estrellas. And what about you, Christian? Um, I haven't slept under the stars yet. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now let's go with number four. Win a competition. What is the past participle of the verb win? I have won a competition. Okay, excellent. I have won a competition. We can use already. I have already won a competition. Ya he ganado una competición. Any other sentence? I have already won a competition or I haven't won a competition yet. Anybody? One, two, three, four, five. Nobody? Okay, let's go with number five. Write a poem. Ya hizo esta actividad. Ya escrito un poema. I yes, have I already... have already written a poem. Yes. Okay, excellent sentence. I have already written a poem. Very good. Thank you. I have wrote a poem. Okay, I have already written a poem. Okay. Yo ya he escrito un poema. What about number C? Fall asleep in class. Look at this. Quedarse dormido en una clase. ¿Ya le ha sucedido? Sí, teacher, en esta. <laughs> I on. haven't fallen asleep in class. Okay, I haven't fallen asleep in class yet. Thank you. Mm. And cut a fish. Catch a Teacher, fish. Yes. What is catch? Atrapar. Okay. Yo ya he atrapado un pez. Yo no he atrapado un pez todavía. I haven't caught a fish yet. Okay. I haven't caught a caught is the past participle. I haven't caught a fish yet. And number eight, climb a mountain. Climb a mountain. ¿Ya han escalado una montaña? No. And then what is your sentence, Cristian? I haven't climbed a mountain yet. Excellent. I haven't climbed a mountain yet. And number nine, travel abroad. It means out of El Salvador. Out 
I have already traveled abroad or I haven't traveled abroad yet. What is your sentence? I have traveled abroad. Okay, I have already traveled abroad. Why okay. is already, teacher? Already, it means ya. Ya he hecho esta actividad. I have already traveled abroad. Yo ya he viajado fuera del país. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, eh, también no se les olvide que already puede ir antes del verbo principal de la oración o también al final de la oración. Entend? Copy homework. ¿Ya han copiado? Have you ever cheated on a homework? Ya copiado la tarea de internet o de un libro y la presentó. I suyo? haven't copied homework yet. Ah, ok. I haven't copied the homework, homework yet. So, let's go with this. Make present perfect sentence. Ok, I'm going to choose some of you and you are going to pick a number and under the number you are going to find a question. Question. So you are going to answer then. Let's start with Carlos. Give me a second. I'm going to end the presentation. Okay. Carlos, which number do you want? Sorry, teacher. Which number do you want? I have from 1 to 30. Which one do you want? Um, everybody, teacher. Uh, so sorry. Uh, uh, um, whatever. Where a number? Yes, just one. Okay, eleven. Eleven. Yes. You say eleven. Let's see what is under eleven. Have you ever, have you ever fallen out of bed? Te ha caído de la cama. <laughs> yes, I have filed all of, of my bed. Okay, I, I've already fallen out of bed. I exactly. Okay. Yesterday I, in the morning. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. So the sentence is I've already fallen out of bed. Ya me he caído de la cama. Thank you so much. Now let's go with, let me see who's next. I have in, Alexis. Can you listen to me, Alexis? Yes, I listen. Okay, which number do you want? Pick at one, please. Uh, 15. You say 15. Let's see what is under 15. Have you ever ridden a motorbike? Ya ha montado una bicicleta. Oh. I haven't uh I haven't ridden a motorbike yet. Okay, excellent. I haven't ridden a motorbike yet. Thank you, Alexis. Excellent sentence. Okay. Cristina, can you listen to me, Cristina? Yes, teacher. Which number do you want? Seven. Seven. Let's see what is under seven. Oh, sorry. Okay. Have you ever sung in public? Yes, I have already sung in public. Okay. What was the song? Do you remember? Um... I don't, I don't know how uh, um, the number of the song, but uh, says the, uh, algo así como, ne, 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 que vas a hacer cuando sal grande. No sé cómo se llama. Ah, Pero okay. la canté, la canté en público a unos estudiantes de segundo año de bachillerato en el Parque Nacional de Hilo Vasco, en el Parque Central de Hilo Vasco. Oh, great. There were a lot of public there. <laughs> sí. Okay. Con toda la pena del mundo, pero lo tuve que hacer porque era una charla de, 
de plan de vida para estudiantes. Okay, great, very good, very good experience. That was very interesting, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah. Thank you, let's see, let's go with Crisia. Which number do you want, Crisia, tell me. One. Number one, let's see what is under number one. Okay, have you ever been in a car accident? No, I haven't be a no no i haven't been in a car accident yet okay excellent answer thank you anna can you listen to me anna anna martinez hello one two three let's go then with edwin edwin antonio can you listen to me yes teacher okay edwin which number do you want choose one please and tell me 27 27, let's see what is in the 27. Okay, have you ever had an x-ray? No, I haven't had an x-ray. Okay, good, tiene huesos sanos, excellent. Let's see, let's go with Hosman. Can you listen to me, Hosman? Number five. Number five. Let's see what is number five. And then number five. Okay. Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I travel. Uh, yes, I have a travel abroad yet. Oh, in this este case, tiene que decir already porque ya lo hizo. Uh -huh. Okay. Say, I have traveled I... abroad already. And ready. Oh, okay. okay, cool. Uh, Sandra Noemi, good evening. Can you listen to me, Sandra? One, two, three. Samuel, are you working now? Hello, Samuel, are you working? Okay, probably he's working. Uh, Herson, which number do you want? Can you listen to me, Herson? Uh, four. Okay, number four. Here we go with number four. Okay, have you ever held a snake? Um, yeah. Yes, I have it. How? ¿Qué es lo que estaba preguntando ahí, teacher? ¿Alguna vez ha sostenido una serpiente en sus manos? Ah, uh, sí, I not, I not have how, uh, ¿Cómo puede decir? Tengo, tengo miedo a la serpiente. Um, I'm, I'm afraid of snake. I'm afraid, I'm afraid of me. Okay. I know. I'm a... 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 Ah, okay, okay. Great. So, any volunteer? Any volunteer who wants a number? Let's choose five more. Five more numbers. And then we continue with the class. Let's see. Any volunteer? Who wants? Who wants to take another number? No volunteers. What do you need a volunteer, teacher? To pick up another number. Okay, uh, number 10. Number 10, let's see what is under yes. number 10. Okay, have you ever painted a wall? Have you ever painted a wall? No, I haven't paint a wall yet. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Anybody want the number? One, two, three. Nobody. Me, uh, thank you. Okay, the last Daddy. one. Have you ever been on TV? No, I haven't. 
No, you haven't. Okay, great. Anyone? Nos quedan tres todavía. I need three volunteers. No volunteers. Nobody wants another number. Then I'm going to choose somebody. Alexis, can you choose another number, please? Yes. Um, number two. Okay, let's see. Have you ever drawn a cartoon? Papa. Ah, draw a cartoon. I I I have I have draw a cartoon. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yes. I have, I have already. Drawn SpongeBob already. Okay, I have already drawn a cartoon. It was SpongeBob. Great. Thank you so much. I okay. still have two numbers. So Anna, which number do you want? Hola, uh, three. Number three, okay. Have you ever asked, asked it in a play? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I... Acted? Uh, que se realiza alguna actividad, ¿verdad? Uh, se no, alguna... si ha participado en la dramatización de algún cuento, obra. Uh, uh, yes, I have. Uh, I... Act in play. Eh, eh. What was the name of the play? ¿Cuál fue el cuento Pan. o obra novela? Eh, the, the Prince, El Principito. Ah, okay, uh -huh. great, excellent, thank you. The last one, the last one is for any volunteer for the last one. It's just the last one, and then we continue with the class. One number more. eight. Number eight. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Have you ever watched a film in English? Yes. I have already a film in English. Okay. What? Le faltó el verbo. I have already watched a film oh, in sorry. English. Thank you. Okay. Excellent sentences. Thank you so much for your help in this activity. Let's continue in the next thing here. Here we go. Okay, let's start with four in team. Take a look at this question. How long did you live in Thailand? And the answer is, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I lived here for six months. I love it here. And I have another answer here. I lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. So we are going to use for it in the next cases. Let's see, for plus a period of time. We need to use for it plus a period of time. For example, for six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. And I have this example. I have worked here for five years. So it's a period of time. Por seis años, por diez años, por cincuenta años, por una semana, por tres semanas, por a month, for six months, for ten months, for hours, you say, for twenty hours, for two hours, etc. So with the present perfect, I have these examples. Any volunteer to read the four sentences there? Let's practice. Thank you, Christian. She has lived here for 20 years. We have, we have, oh, so, we have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the They have been up the whole before a week. Ok, en la primera oración, she has lived here for 20 years. ¿Cuál es el periodo de tiempo? What is the period of time in that sentence? 20 años. Thank you so much. Years. We have taught at this school for a long time. What is the period of time? 
Por un largo tiempo. Long time. Long time. Long time. Por un largo tiempo. And in the next one, three months. Tres meses es un periodo. Then for a week. And la última they have been up there. Tell for a week. Por una semana. Por una semana. Then we are going to use for antes de un periodo de tiempo. Now let's go with things. When we are going to use things. Things plus a specific moment. We need seen plus a specific moment in the past. Cuando algo comenzó, ¿verdad? Sin significa desde. Significa, por ejemplo, comencé a jugar fútbol desde que tenía 10. Y todavía sigue jugando. ¿verdad? Pero ese fue el momento en que usted empezó, cuando tenía 10 años. Entonces, ese es un momento específico. Let's say a look of these examples. Since this morning, desde esta mañana. Since last week. Desde la semana pasada, since yesterday, since I was a child, desde que yo era un niño, since Wednesday, desde el miércoles, since two o'clock, I have worked here since 1990, okay? I have worked here since 1990. Trabajo aquí desde 1990. That is the example, entonces, things. Más un momento específico, ¿verdad? Let's see, for example, no tengo dinero desde el miércoles. ¿Cómo sería? Things, ¿verdad? El miércoles comencé a vivir sin money. So, present perfect with things. Any volunteer to read the four examples that I have here? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos. She has lived here since... 19, how do you say? 80, 80. 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 20. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, excellent. So just this word, how do you pronounce this number? Sorry, it's not a word, it's a number. Second. Thousand? Um, second. It's an ordinal number. Oh, second. Second. Thank you. March second. Thank you. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you. The rest was perfect. So she has lived here since 1980. ¿Cuándo comenzó esta persona a vivir en ese lugar? 1980. Desde 1980. Dice, we have taught at this school since 1965. Nosotros hemos enseñado en esa escuela desde 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Es están en el hotel desde el jueves, martes, or desde el martes pasado. She has lived here since 1980. Si quiero utilizar for en esa oración, ¿cuántos años ha vivido esa persona ahí? Si todavía vive ahí hasta el día de hoy. She has lived here for... ¿Cuántos años serían? De 1980 al 2022. 42 años. 32. Mm. De, no, de 1980 a 2022. 42 años. Sí. 42 ok, por y tú. Entonces, si yo quiero decir el periodo, entonces necesito for, porque ya se convierte ah. en un periodo de. De tiempo, muy bien, son 42, excelente. So you say, she has lived here for 42 years. Ha vivido aquí por 42 años. Now let's see, Alice has been married since March 2nd. ¿Cuántos meses lleva casada Alice? You say, April. Dos años. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Like Dos años, seven, months. seven or eight months, right? So Alice has been married for eight months. 
Okay, convierte en un periodo de tiempo. Let's see. Let's read these examples. Any volunteer to read these four sentences? I have kid as an example using yeah. four with the present perfect. Me teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Me teacher. Okay. okay, and the second part, we are going to listen Hosman, but first Carlos in the first four sentences. Okay, she has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to She has like her size, um, I think I, 18. Uh, we have taught at this school size, um, 1965. 1965. 1965. 1965. Okay, thank you, teacher. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Thursday. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent job. Can you help me to pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? Since. 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 Thank you so much. You say sing, sing. Can you pronounce this year, please? Nineteen eighty. Nineteen. Nineteen. No. Nineteen eighty. Okay. Thank you. Nineteen eighty. And what about this other one? Nineteen sixty-five. Okay. Nineteen sixty-five. Esa es una manera. ¿Cuál sería la Otra manera, tenemos dos maneras de decir los años. The first one is, la primera es dividirlo, ¿verdad? En dos, 1980, 1965. Y la otra es decir el número completo. ¿Cómo sería este año? Diciendo con el número completo. Anyone in here? I don't remember, but I think it is 1980. Yes, 1980, thank you. Then the other one is? 1965. 65, okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, take a look at this information in this part. We can use the present perfect with for and a period of time. And we can use the present perfect with since and a day, the uh, end, a day, day, time, or event. Utilizamos since con una fecha, un día específico, tiempo específico, o un evento específico. And I have this a chart with this example. She has lived here. Then you can say for over three years. It's a period of time. She has lived here since 1988. Desde esta fecha, desde este año, ella vive acá. Acá comenzó a vivir en este lugar. So I haven't played tennis for a week. Hace una semana que no practico ese deporte. So I haven't played tennis for a week. I haven't played tennis since last Saturday. No juego tenis desde el sábado pasado. I haven't played tennis since my accident. Eh, that is an event. No he jugado tenis desde mi accidente. I haven't played tennis since I hurt my back. Desde ese día ya no juego más, ya no he jugado. Yeah, we use four with period of time and things with a specific time in the past. Cuando algo comenzó. Let's see, we can form present perfect question with how long. We can use this question to ask for cuánto tiempo. So you say how long. How long have you known Maya? Desde cuando has conocido a Maya? How long has she lived? Here, por cuánto tiempo ha vivido ella aquí? And I have this example. 
We can give short answers with foreign things. Podemos dar um, respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Utilizando for o utilizando since. How long have you known Maya? For six years, since I was 12. ¿Cuánto tiempo has conocido a Maya? ¿O desde cuándo conoces a Maya? Ah, la he conocido por seis años. La he conocido desde que tenía 12. How long has she lived here? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha vivido ahí acá? For over 30 years. Since 1988. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? No question, teacher. No question? All is okay. right. Okay. Right, let's continue then. Okay, let's fill this uh, blank with things and for to complete these sentences. Number one, nobody has seen him last Friday. Things last Friday. Okay, you say things. Then you write things last Friday. The second one, it has been foggy. For some days. For. Okay, it's a period of time. Then we need four. It has been foggy for some days. Number three, he has been fishing. Since. 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 Since six o'clock. Desde las seis comenzó a pescar. Great. Number four. They've been living in France eight years. Four. Four. Oh, a period of time that we need four. They have been living in France for eight years. Number five. Four. The pilot has been on the strike for. Okay. The next. Since. Which one? Do we have a terrible weather? Oh, no, oh, no. It's four, teacher. Mm. Since. No. Since. since. Yes, since. Okay. Let's see. You were right. It's since. And the last one, number seven. Since? I know Tom since 1990. Okay, since. Any volunteer to read one, two, and three, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Nobody. One, two, three, teacher? Yes, please. Okay. Nobody has seen him since last Friday. It has been foggy for some days. He has been fishing since six o'clock. Okay, thank you so much. Volunteer to read four, five, six, and seven. Anyone who wants to read? Who wants to practice? Nobody one? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Alexis, do it, please. They've been living in France for eight years. The pilots have been on a strike for two months. We've had terrible weather since Saturday. I've known Tom since 1980. Thank you so much. Any new words in these sentences, new vocabulary? Strike. Strike, ok, it has two meanings, puede significar en huelga o atacando. The pilots have been, eh, han estado en huelga por dos meses o los pilotos han estado atacando por dos meses. That is on strike. We need more information to know, right? What is this referring to? But that is the meaning of strike. Before you. Before la segunda. it has been foggy. Ah, foggy. Foggy, ah, oh, foggy. Esto es eh, que hay mucha neblina. Okay. It has Gracias, been foggy for some day. Ha Gracias, habido teacher. mucha neblina por algunos días. Thank you. Yes. Any other question? Weather, what is the meaning of this? We have terrible weather since Saturday. 
mal Buen clima. Fin. Ok, excelente. Hemos tenido un mal clima. Ok, let's continue filling these sentences. Use things and four. Let's continue practicing. Or we have been waiting for the and bus. The is four. Okay, the first one you say is four. Yes, for a half an hour. She hasn't lost a match. Ella Since? no ha perdido un juego. Mm, ella Since. no ha perdido un juego desde abril. Since April. Things have changed. Las cosas han cambiado. For. Eh, ok. Things. Seguro. Things. Las cosas han cambiado desde que él se convirtió en el manager. Eleven. Four. The police has been looking for him. Muy bien. Por, yes, you're right. La policía lo ha estado buscando por un mes. Our dog has been ill today. Four. Okay, great. Four is the right answer. Thirteen, I have been looking for this book. Four. It's a long time. Mm, four, for a long time. Four. Okay, and fourteen, I have been working. He estado trabajando. I got up. Things. I got up. Volunteer to read sentence 8, 9, 10, and 11, please. Me, teacher. Thank okay. you, Carlos. Can you repeat the. the uh, ¿Cuál es? Voy a leer, por favor. Ok. 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, teacher. We have been waiting for the bus for half an hour. She hadn't lost a much since April. Things have changed since he became the manager. The police have been looking for him for a month. Thank you so much. How do you say this month? April. <laughs> Uh, April. April. Thank you, Alexis. April. Thank you. April. Okay. Any volunteer to read 12, 13, and 14? Just one, okay. please. Thank you. Let's start. Our dog has been here for two days. I've been looking for this book for a long time. I've been working since I got up. Thank you. Got up. Excellent. Thank you. I have been working since I got up. Como algunos de ustedes. He estado trabajando desde que me levanté. Great. Any question in this part? What is the meaning of this word? What is the meaning of this? Our dog has been ill. What is the meaning of this word? Enfermo, no. Yes, Anna, you are right. Enfermo. What is the meaning of match? Equipo. Mm, not really. Oh, partido. Partido, yes, partido. Casen los a match. Okay, now it's your turn for practice with your classmates. You are going to have six minutes to practice this. How long have you worked? Por cuánto tiempo ha trabajado? How long have you worked there? Por cuánto tiempo ha trabajado ahí en la empresa donde está? O en su negocio? I don't know. How long have you had the same phone? Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido el mismo teléfono? How long have you lived there? ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva viviendo en ese lugar? How long have you studied English? How long have you known your best friend? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha conocido a su mejor amigo? 
How long have you been married? Si está casado, ¿cuánto tiempo lleva casado? How long have you had the same car? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido el mismo car? So you are going to answer using for or since. Then you say, I have... Mm, Teacher. Work. Yes? Can you send the picture to the group, please? Wow. WhatsApp group? Okay, you give me a second. I will try. Let me look for the group. What is it? Okay. Okay, there you have. Do you have any question about the activity? No question, teacher. No question? Okay, let's go then. So let me see. Let's practice with your classmate. We are 12. Okay, here we go. Están a recibir la invitación para unirse a los grupos. Please practice with your classmates. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready, teacher. And the rest of you? I'm ready. Okay, excellent. Here we go. See you in six minutes. Samuel, see you in two minutes. I'm going to visit your classmate on the small group. Eh, se empiezo yo sería how long how you work in the moment no mm, no I haven't no en este momento no ok Evelyn you say you are not working now Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Gerson. Eh, Hello, La primera pregunta es por cuánto tiempo ha trabajado usted, Evelyn. ¿Cuántos años lleva trabajando, por ejemplo? Then you say, I have worked for. Y usted dice el número de años. I, I have worked work for eh, six months. Okay, for six months, that is a great answer. I have worked for six months. The second question. How long have you had the song phone? Yes. <laughs> ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido el mismo teléfono? Then you say, I have had. I have had. I have had. Por. 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 Is of o is for 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 I have had the same phone for he tenido el mismo teléfono for, le, for year for four years muy bien 
for four years. Muy bien, así nos quedaría la oración. I have had the same phone for four years. What is the number four? Ah, there is. Four. I have had the same phone for four years. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you, Evelyn, ask the question to Herson, please? Okay. E... How long, how long have you lived there? Herson, ¿por cuánto tiempo ha vivido ahí donde está viviendo ahora? How long have you lived there? Person. <laughs> then you say, I have lived. I have lived here. Puede usar since y decir que en qué año comenzó a vivir ahí. O puede decir for y el número de años que lleva viviendo ahí. Person. Can you listen to me? Person, hello. I have lived since five years. Okay, dice I have lived here. Four sería. Si va a utilizar four. el periodo de tiempo, tiene four, five years. He estado yeah. viviendo aquí por cinco años. Mm -hmm. I have lived here for five years. Now the next one, how long have you studied English. Uh, How long have you studied English? I have I have studied mm -hmm. English uh, two years. Okay, for two, for years. two years. Okay, excellent. I have studied English for two years. Let's see, are you married, Evelyn? Sorry? Are you married? ¿Está mm. usted casada? I have, um, I haven't. Ah, then you say no. Entonces no puede hacer la siguiente, que sería cuánto tiempo ha estado casada. No aplicaría, ¿verdad? Porque no está casada. Okay. So okay. the last one, how long have you had the same car? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido el mismo carro? No tengo, pero voy a decir que I have had y for, for ten, ah, ok. I have had the same car for 10 years. 14 years, excellent. Thank you so much. Qué bueno. <laughs> Okay, perfect answer, yes. Evelyn. Thank you, Gerson. Hello, Gerson. Can you listen to me? Well, it seems that Gerson is busy. Okay, thank you so much, Gerson and Evelyn. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you for your answer. Okay, thank you, Excellent teacher. Excellent job. Thank you. Let's stop sharing this.
Hello, everybody. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish? Yes, we finish. Okay, excellent, Christina. Thank you. Anna, did you finish practicing with your classmate? Yes, teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. Alexis, finish. Christian, did you finish? Yes. Okay, great. Do you have any question about how to use for and things with the present perfect? Do you have any question? No. I understand perfectly, teacher. Okay, that's great. Then thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, thank you for your help, right, during the exercises. I really appreciate your participation. Don't forget, please, right, that we're going to finish this course tomorrow, right? And before the last class, it means tomorrow, you have to finish everything on the platform, right? The exercises sure. and the final exam. Yes, Carlos? Okay. Tomorrow is the final class? Yes. Yes, it is. Tomorrow okay. is our last class. Okay, so don't miss it. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow. Bye -bye. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night.